Hey there, how's it going everybody? So I just got back from the Asian market and I picked up some fresh turmeric here as well as some taro root. And uh, I'm gonna be growing these out in my garden along with this ginger that's begun to sprout here. And I've also got some chayote back there. Just wanted to quickly share with you why it is I'm choosing these plants. And you know, the cost is very cheap when you go buy them from the market. I actually picked up a bunch of this organic ginger from Costco a couple months back. And here's some more of that ginger that I picked up from Costco. A package like this was only about $5, great deal. You can see this one's getting much older now, but we've got some really nice shoots now coming off of that. Now the ginger does very well in tropical, subtropical areas. It's actually even grown as an ornamental in such places. And just like the turmeric, it has a myriad of health benefits. I consume it mostly as a tea and I've got another special drink that I make. So my goal to propagate this plant this year, and I've got a whole bunch of this ginger, is I'm gonna be taking like little one to two inch piece chunks of the ginger, planting it in one gallon containers. And hopefully by the end of the season, I'll have a one gallon container full of fresh ginger. I'm gonna be planting this out in the garden I did the same thing last year, had good success. We were a bit late in the season. So we'll see if uh, it comes back as a perennial this year. This is a perennial crop in tropical and subtropical climates. When you get into the temperate and the cooler climates, you can easily dig these up at the end of the season, put them in some pots of soil and overwinter them for next season. But the turmeric prefers to be grown in temperatures ranging between about 70 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. They like lots of water. This would be a really good plant to put maybe on the edge of a pond or a swale or something like that. But there is a myriad of health benefits with this plant, just too many to even list. I'd encourage you to look it up and check into it. And if you've never seen fresh turmeric, let me give you a look at what it looks like under the skin. Isn't that beautiful? Over here we got the taro root, and this is actually the corms of the plant. This is what's usually eaten. You can also consume the young leaves and stems of this plant once it goes through a double boiling process. But these are very delicious, prepared similar to a potato, tastes similar to a potato more mushy, more moist. And just like the turmeric, it likes a lot of water, uh, actually prefers even swampy type soil. So again, another plant that would be great to maybe put on the edge of a pond or a swale. And back here, we got the chayote. I had picked up a few of these about a month ago from the market, and you can see this one now starting to grow out. So I'm gonna need to pot this up. And I can't exactly remember what I paid for all the chayote. I think it was about $2.50 for five of those there. This is in the gourd family, and it's eaten and prepared like a squash. It's actually it kind of tastes like a watery potato. It's kind of bland, but at the same time, delicious. And it's great to include with other dishes where it can kind of take up that flavor or mellow it out. And you can also eat the leaves and the shoots of this plant as well. Now these plants are tender perennials. So again, tropical, subtropical climates, um, you're gonna have a nice perennial plant. It's gonna grow like crazy. These plants will grow 50 plus feet in one season. So as you can see, we've got a nice variety of some really nice plants that you can grow very cheaply. Now just to reiterate the turmeric and the taro, I'm gonna get started in one gallon pots and then when the weather warms up, I'm gonna transplant those directly into the ground. Same goes for the chayote. And the ginger here is gonna be separated into several plants, put in one gallon containers and grown out the entire season that way. Alright, so I've cut the ginger up into some growable pieces and now using a one gallon container I'm just going to take one piece of ginger, stick it in there like so. And I'll water that in really good. Same thing with the smaller pieces with a little new growth coming out. Just like that. The taro is very easy to grow as well. You just basically plant it in some soil. And if you look close here, and then here, and also here, you can see that's where there's some new growth starting to emerge from this corm. Not gonna bury it too deep, just right there at the surface. Now the chayote can be a bit tricky, but very easy to grow. You just don't want to bury the whole thing under the soil. I did that a couple years ago and they rotted away before they had a chance to grow. So the same area where you see it start to sprout out, you'll see roots. I put that end a little bit into the soil. I don't want to cover the sprout coming out, but I do want to cover some of those roots that are forming there. And I can add a bit more soil over here. 
and that's good just like that I'm gonna water this in really good and this is what it'll look like in about a week and a half and this one's about two and a half weeks old and with the turmeric it's really the fresher the better and you can find this in the refrigeration section over in the produce area and I'm just lightly covering the turmeric it's that easy now besides all these there's actually quite a few different other edible crops you could pick up from the market I keep an eye out for things like lemongrass sweet potato greens garlic that sort of thing well that's it for now everybody I hope you're having a great day and I'll be talking to you again soon take care